Hey everyone, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about ion exchange chromatography. Ion exchange chromatography is based on the phenomenon of attraction between opposite charges. The stationary phase is selected such that it has a particular charge and attracts the sample molecules with the opposite charge. The stationary phase is also known as the ion exchanger. The ion exchange chromatography is widely used for the separation and purification of proteins, peptides, nucleic acids, polynucleotides, etc. The ion exchanger can be of two types, cation exchanger and the anion exchanger. Cation exchanger has a negative charge and attracts positively charged cation, while anion exchanger is positively charged and attracts negatively charged anion. Different functional groups such as carboxyl, carboxymethyl, sulfo, sulfomethyl, etc. can be used as a cation exchanger. Buffers having negatively charged ions like acetate, phosphate, etc. can be used with cation exchanger. On the other hand, functional groups like aminoethyl, trimethyl, aminoethyl, etc. can be used as an ion exchanger. The buffers used with anion exchanger has a positive charge, for example, Tris buffer. Let's try to understand the separation of proteins with ion exchange chromatography. At isoelectric pH, the net charge on the protein is zero, that is, proteins have equal number of positive and negative charge. If the pH is shifted one unit above the isoelectric pH, then the protein will have net negative charge. And if the pH is shifted one unit below the isoelectric pH, then the protein will have net positive charge. Before proceeding further, it must be checked at which pH the protein is stable. If the protein is stable at pH one unit above isoelectric pH, then an unexchange chromatography is preferred as the protein will have a negative charge. And if the protein is stable one unit below the isoelectric pH, then Cation exchange chromatography is preferred as the protein will have a positive charge. Once the protein binds to stationary phase in the column, elution of protein can be done by changing in the pH or by changing the ionic strength.